Hey guys, 5-9 Gaming here, back with another Dragon Ball Legends video, and today I, Goresh, am joined by Jonaku. Today we're going to be talking about the top five best banners throughout 2021. This is actually a topic that I haven't thought of personally until this was something that we decided to do a video on, but uh, looking through pretty much all the banners that we got throughout the course of that year, seems pretty interesting to me that uh, there are a few that stood out and a few that really did not stand out. Um, but we're going to give our top five. We'll, yeah, we're each going to give our own five. Um, so we'll start with number five. We'll both give our number five and then so on and so forth from there. But yeah, and then just to clarify, obviously, this being a 2021 top five, Bardock's banner is not going to be included because his came out in 2022. Uh, do you want to go ahead and get us started here with your number five pick? Yeah, will do. All right. So my number five is Legends Anniversary Step Up Bojack Unbound. So I'll just explain why I chose that banner. It's because of basically we got Revival Gohan, which, you know, he, <laughs> Hybrid Saiyan's already broken as it is. He made it mu much more broken. And we also got Red Bojack, which, you know, is a good character as well. And people still use him in Sagas from the Movies teams. And also we got Gokua, who's pretty much a sparking in disguise. Um, best extreme unit in the game. So it just had a lot of great characters you can get um, from that banner. The only reason why I put in number five is because the way they were doing step up formats back then, it's just, they weren't as good as they used to be. So that's why I've put that in number five, but the characters are great. So that's my number yeah. five. That makes sense. Uh, my number five was actually the Ultra Rising Super Gogeta banner. Ooh. That was obviously <laughs> Ultra Gogeta on it. I think a lot of people will probably have this higher up on the list, but for me, the fact that there was no summoning coin mechanic on this banner really threw it off a little bit. Yeah. Um, and also the fact that he was the only new character on the banner kind of made it a little bit, I guess, hit or miss. Like I've seen people tag me on Twitter posts like a ton uh, when this <laughs> banner was live and they were like, yeah, I summoned on the banner and I didn't pull Ultra Gogeta. So basically I just wasted all my you know, crystals in the banner. Because at least with some of these other banners that we're going to be talking about, there are side characters that are actually like really good. Yeah, um, yeah. Some of the LFs on here aren't good. Like th the best thing about this banner is the fact that there's 0.5% rates for old LFs, whereas on other banners usually the rates are 0.25 for the older ones. So that's a plus sign, uh, a positive for this banner. But I, I don't know, man. This the lack of the summon coin mechanic <laughs> and the lack of at least you know you're gonna get something really just didn't. Uh, I guess it, it threw it off a little bit for me, but obviously Ultra Gojit himself is really good. Yeah, I was very disappointed um, when they didn't have the summon coins. I was like, are you serious? Like, but yeah, I didn't think they would change the way yeah. they were going to do it, but they did. So yeah, it was unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, I guess the thought process is that Ultra characters are not LF, yeah. like they're not sparkings. That's true. So like, even if they put like, are they going to put like what Ultra Z power in there? I guess they're probably still figuring it out. I wouldn't be surprised if in the future we did end up getting summon coins for Ultras. I just, I don't think they just have it ready. I wonder yet, if we we'll would get more Z power like in the shop if you exchange the coins for Ultra. Like, would you get like two stars worth of an Ultra character or would they give you more? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it would give you more, but it would cost more. I'm yeah. not sure. All right, well, why don't we go ahead and move on to number four here. You can go ahead. So, I mean, the only, there's like a funny reason why I picked this. So number four, it's going to be the Time to Evolve. So this is the banner with uh, Super Saiyan Blue Evolve Vegeta. The only reason why I'm picking this is because they changed the way the step up is. They basically made it back to normal. I mean, a bit different, but the free summon came back. There was a lot of uh, cheap summons you can do instead of just uh, constantly a thousand, a thousand, a thousand Chrono Crystals. It was like 300, 500, 700. And Super Saiyan Blue Evolved Vegeta is great. I also love the featured LF characters, you know, all those God Key characters like Gogeta Blue, Vegito Blue, Ultra Instinct Goku. But yeah, mainly I'm choosing, uh, choosing this banner because yeah, Vegeta is good and they changed the way step-up banners work and yeah, free summons as well. So that's the only reason why I put that in number four. My number four is going to be the Majin Despair banner, which is the banner that debuted LF Kid Buu as well as Angel Vegeta. Now, the reason why I picked this as my number four pick was because number one, this was, like you mentioned, back during, um, actually before they changed the way that step ups worked. So this banner did still have the free multi as part of step six. Yeah. Um, so you still had the free multi there. And then the fact that not only was Kid Buu like a ridiculously good unit, still is really oh, good man. to this day, but Angel Vegeta, like the 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 one percent sparking that came out alongside Kid Buu, like crazy good, so much value. Till this day, he's still good, right? People still use him on all of the Saiyan teams, all those, uh, you know, Vegeta clan teams that he's ran on. 
sometimes even see him in the leader slot on other teams that he doesn't really work that super well with. He's just that good. So to have both those units on the banner together that debuted at the same time was really good. This is also the first time that UI Goku had, re had returned on a banner. And then this banner also featured LF Super Saiyan 3 Goku, who right after this banner actually got a Zenkai Awakening. So a lot of value here. Um, and uh, yeah, that's my number four pick. Honestly, yeah, it's a very interesting uh, pick, that one, because yeah, Vegeta is in a lot of teams. Like people were using him. A lot of it wasn't just one character they kind of forgot about like that came out people were still using him people still even use him and yeah kid boo is just yeah he's, he's a really strong character so that makes sense to put that banner to be honest yeah and then just to your point uh the ones that you pick with evolution blue vegeta i actually don't even think like evolution blue vegeta has been able to really realize his full potential yet because i think yeah. one of the main teams he's going to be good on is universe survival saga and that team has not gotten buffed at no. all in like the past like four months they were kind of so giving I think, it some support but then they were just like oh yeah. screw it, let's just stop and, oh sorry you're gone once that once that team starts getting more support and more help that that character is going to become way way yes. better and you're gonna start seeing him way more i think yeah if we get like tournament power for third anniversary oh, sorry <laughs> fourth anniversary wow it sounds weird um, we'll be getting like, you know, Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku and Jiren. I'm pretty sure, yeah, Vegeta will shine with those kind of characters, hopefully. Yeah, and honestly, just even more God Key characters in general yes, as well. Yes, yes. All right, let's move to number three. <laughs> yeah, let's go. What's your number three pick? Um, it's Ultra Rising Fusion Reborn. I know you made that number five. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But... But for me, I just have it there because, I don't know, like, yes, it is a, it was like a lot of people were disappointed with the banner and, and there was no summon coins. Yeah, I, I totally understand that. But the only reason why I have it there is because, yeah, they like, there's a few things. I'm a Fusion Warrior main, um, so this is sort of like a bit me just talking like why I really love it. Just Ultra Gogeta, first summonable Ultra. But anyway, I'll get that stuff out of the way. So basically, I made it um, number three because... When you pull an ultra character you get so much z power for them so i know it was very hard to pull gogeta but they also did ultra rates times too um and you know like i've pulled him twice in this banner and it's like i've pulled him like a bunch of times now which is crazy so i don't know i just feel like yeah the banner is not the best but the value of like when you pull gogeta like yeah, you just get so much z power for him and also the featured LFs, how there was 0.5, that made me um, really happy as well. Like, because I was getting some yeah. LFs, uh, like, I didn't really have too much. Like, for example, Ultra Instinct Goku. My Goku went from 3 stars to 7 stars because of that banner. Um, and just other characters as well. So, I don't know. I, I just feel like just the only reason why I'm putting there is because Ultra Rates times 2. Um, how much Z power you can get for Gogeta and the featured LFs, basically. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, again, to me, that banner is kind of like a hit or miss. If you yes. don't end up pulling Super, if the Ultra Gogeta, it's kind of like, well, I just kind of wasted my stuff. Exactly. But if you do pull it, even just one copy, it's definitely worth it. And that banner oh, just 100%. becomes way better. Exactly. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, so my number three pick is the uh, Legends Anniversary Bojack Unbound Step Up, which you put, I think, as number yep. five. Yes, that's correct. Um, <laughs> So I, I, yeah. So the point that you made actually is a pretty good point. The fact that this actually does not have a free multi on it, um, it doesn't even go up to step six. I believe it goes uh, up to step five, which is mm. just the one thousand yeah. crystal multi. Yeah. Uh, kind of sucks that they uh, had it like that for the anniversary, <laughs> which they soon yes. changed right after this. But yes. Um, I actually do think this banner, like, if you take a look at the actual lineup and like the new characters that released on this banner, I don't think we've ever had a banner this good except for maybe like the first year anniversary just in terms of like the raw characters that were introduced as part of this banner right revival gohan red bojack gokua like all yep. these characters were like you either were using them or you were fighting against them in pvp every single time you queued up because purple gohan back then was like far and away like the best unit in the game next to red gohan right that that hybrid oh, saiyan man. core <laughs> And then if you weren't running hybrids, guess what? You were running movies. <laughs> so you were running Bojack <laughs> and Gokua. So all of these characters that made up this banner, even though technically, like we mentioned, the, the free multi value wasn't really there on this banner, you did still have like the best lineup pretty much of the entire year on this banner, you know, uh, judging by the time that they released. Obviously, these characters have aged a bit by now, but back when this Gohan and Bojack came out, like they were the kings of the game, honestly. Yes, Even compared yeah. to the other anniversary LFs like Govita and Zamasu, like these guys just towered above them, honestly. Oh yeah, honestly, um, like yeah, I agree. Because when they released Gogeta, like on his initial release, yeah, he wasn't the best. Like we could all go, oh, he's not that good. Zamasu was because you know he's yeah. like 
He's a bit fragile, but if you know how to use him really well, like he can be so deadly. Um, but yeah. Gohan, just yeah, putting him with the best team in the game, and oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was crazy. But yeah, I, if you guys uh, disagree, I definitely understand why. Just because, mm -hmm. again, the free multi not being there. And then also, this was before the summon coin mechanic was introduced. So you didn't have the access to that either. So I find that pretty uh, But funny. there were tickets. Yes. There were tickets yes. uh, as like a baked in part of the banner. Remember, they used to do the free tickets. Uh, you still got those. It's funny how um, my number five is your number three. And your number five is my number three. <laughs> Yeah, I think number four was the spot where we like both didn't have uh, each one, each other yeah, one. Yeah, that's on true. All right, so let's All move right, well, on to number two. Before we even move on to number two, yeah. you guys already know <laughs> what the number one and two are. I was about to say that as well. Yeah. I know, it's so obvious. Um, how can we yeah. not pick uh, you this? Can, you can go. All right, number two, I chose Legends Festival Beyond the Trust. Now, um, the, <laughs> the reason why I chose Beyond the Trust Here's the thing, like Goku and Vegeta, in my, this is my opinion, if you think I'm wrong, that's fine. Goku and Vegeta are just so much more broken than Trunks, in my opinion. Like, they're just so deadly. Um, so yeah, I feel like Goku and Vegeta are better than Trunks, but the only reason why I have this as number two instead of number one is because I feel like Trunks' banner has better featured LF characters. Do you agree, or...? I do agree, yes. Yeah. And that, I mean, I'll just, we can just tell you guys right now, both of our number two are, are the Goku and Vegeta step up, and then our number one are both the uh, the LF Trunks banner. Yes. Just, just yeah. to get that yeah. out of the way. Yeah. We both Let's have get that out of the way, just one. so we can all talk yeah. about it right now. So yeah, that's correct. But yeah, well, I, I would agree that overall the Trunks banner probably had a better lineup than the Goku and Vegeta yes. banner did, and that's why I put Trunks banner number one. And also, um, on the Trunks banner, like I, I'm seeing Zamasu and Goku Black even more than the Green Broly that came out. Green Broly is Way good. more. Way yeah, more. <laughs> way more. Yeah, like beyond. <laughs> beyond the trust. Nah, just, that was a bad joke. But um, but seriously, <laughs> like I barely saw Green Broly. I've used Green Broly in a, in a movie team, right? And he's actually really good. Like I feel like people like... Like yeah, he's he underrated. Is. Like he's actually really good. Like he draws a lot, like reduces cost of his cards and everything. Um... But yeah, Zamasu and Goku Black, just, oh, the health, the defense, oh my god. Yeah, I think uh, when you're comparing Goku Black and Zamasu to Broly, the big yeah. thing and the big difference between those two is even though they're both green units, you only can really run a green unit in this meta if they're really tanky. And that's yes, obviously yes, what Goku Black yes. and Zamasu are. A unit like Broly does a lot more damage than Goku Black and Zamasu does, but when you're up against a mono purple team, which I would say you see pretty much every other game at least right now, um, he, he, Broly's not going to last long, and even against no. like the the Vegeta side of Goku and Vegeta, he can still take a lot of damage. Um, whereas yeah. Goku Black and Zamasu is designed to eat that damage, so I think that's the main difference between those two. No, I agree. You see Goku Black and Zamasu way more. As soon as Mono Purple became more of a thing, like I I reckon Broly, yeah, just no one uses him anymore. He's a dangerous character to bring now. But yeah, Zamasu, yeah, he's still very tanky. So yeah, it makes sense. Like if you still want to use him, he can still tank a lot. And you'll bring other characters as well. So it's not like he'll be getting hit always. But yeah, just Broly, yeah, he's just going to be useless to purple characters, unfortunately. Yeah, the one other thing I do want to point out, uh, one of the differences between these banners is on the Trunks banner, you actually do have the uh, Zenkai Merge Zamasu as one of the featured sparkings, 0.5% rate. Yeah, who's actually still really good, obviously with the Zenkai Awakening, and then you also have the second year anniversary Blue Vegeta, who's seen a major comeback with the Mono Purple team. So you definitely yeah, want to pick up a copy of him right. if you don't have him. <laughs> yeah, he's on there as well. Yeah, like I was. Um, I was so I would well. actually, I, was, I would actually say that when you look at the the featured sparkings, not even just the LFs, just like the normal yes, point five yeah. percent sparkings, the lineup is still better on the Trunks banner. Yeah. Um, yeah, I agree. That's the only because reason it, why I have it as number one. Yeah. Just better lineup. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's not like a massive difference. Uh, the Goku and Vegeta banner does have like Super yeah. Vegeta. Obviously, Hoku got yes. his Zenkai Awakening, yeah. so that's, he's really crazy now. Full Power Frieza has seen like a massive resurgence just because of the model purple meta and the anti endurance. Uh, Blue Gogeta is still really good. So the Goku and Vegeta banner obviously was still ridiculous, but. The Trunks banner, I think, takes the cake by a little bit. I mean, Evolution Blue Vegeta, you have Future Gohan, who's like a staple on every team. You pretty much have the entire hybrid core lineup on here with uh, the Red Gohan, Purple Goten, obviously Trunks himself, um, Rose, LF Rose, still really good against the uh, Endurance meta. So yeah, Future Gohan, close. Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, 
Um, yeah. Just, yeah, um, like hybrid scenes like that are still pretty good to this day. I know, you know, people aren't using them as much now. But a lot of people have been wanting to get their Go Hunter 7 stars. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, the only other thing I would say, too, about this Trunks banner is it's so easy to build a team just from this banner alone. Um, and I don't think you can say the same about the Goku and the Vegeta banner. There's a lot of really good units on here individually, but not a lot of good units that you can just take from this banner by itself and make a team out of. Whereas that's on the, true, uh, actually, because you got on Beerus, the Trunks banner, um, Margin Vegeta, yeah. Frieza. <laughs> I mean, you can you can literally just straight up build a future team from this banner by itself. Yeah, the Trunks uh, exactly, banner. exactly. That's the only reason why I have it as number one. But I, I still think Goku and yeah. Vegeta are much better. Than Trunks, I do. Yes, yeah. I agree. Yeah, but just Trunks has the better lineup, so that's yeah, that's yeah. the only reason why. And then obviously we didn't mention this, but the reason why these two banners are number one and number two is ah, yes. with, it goes without saying the three <laughs> times sparking rates and the three times Z power. So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Honestly, like when the banner was about to end, I didn't really want to keep going, but then I'm like, you know what? Like there's so much value, so I just kept going, and I have so much more Z medals now. I have a lot of characters maxed out. Like my Android 21 didn't have high stars and now she does. And then she got a Zenkai. So yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. Just a lot of value in these banners. Yeah, definitely agreed. Um, well, that's it for our top five. Let us know down below if you guys agree or disagree with our picks here. Um, anything we said that uh, you want to expand on or you want to... Oh, no, I'm good. I'm, I'm just... Uh, I think our list <laughs> was pretty good. I'm um, just... Very yep. similar. Obviously, yeah, we would have the same number one and two because just so much value, great characters. Hopefully, we can get something like this in the future, especially for the uh, the anniversary where they can just do triple Z power again. But yeah, that's pretty much yep. all I wanted to add. Yeah. Um, but I hope that for the future, they keep that double sp uh, sparking rate and then double Z power for these step ups because when you compare like the normal rates and the normal Z power to the triple one, who was ever going to summon on the normal one again? So I'm no, hoping no. that's a permanent change, but we will see. All right. Thank you all for watching. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, if you guys like this content, let us know down below. Uh, like button's there. Subscribe button is there. Hope you guys click that stuff. And uh, yeah, with that said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And we'll see you all in the next one. See you all later.